Welcome to this video tutorial from CoreTechnologies.com. Today, we are going to show you how to run BoxSync as a Windows service with Always Up. Once we are done, BoxSync will start immediately when your computer boots and will keep running unattended in the background even if no one ever logs on. Let's get started. First, download and install Always Up from CoreTechnologies.com. Start Always Up. Select Application, then Add to open the Add Application window. On the General tab, in the Application field, enter the full path to the BoxSync executable, boxsync.exe. If you installed BoxSync in the default location, this is C colon slash program files slash box slash boxsync slash boxsync.exe. In the name field, enter the name that you will call the application in Always Up. We have used BoxSync, but you can specify almost anything you like. Click over to the Logon tab and enter the username and password of the account in which you installed and configured BoxSync. Note that this account must have administrator rights, or Box may not be able to find its settings or function properly as a Windows service. Click over to the Startup tab and check the Ensure that the Windows Networking Components have started box. This informs Always Up that BoxSync needs TCP slash IP networking support to do its work. We are done configuring box as a Windows service with Always Up, so click the Save button to record your settings. In a couple of seconds, an application called BoxSync will show up in the Always Up window. It is not yet running though, and the state will be stopped. Before we start BoxSync as a Windows service, let's stop any existing instance. If BoxSync is running on your desktop, stop it now by right-clicking on the tray icon and selecting Quit. To start BoxSync from Always Up, choose Application, then Start BoxSync. The state should transition to running after a few seconds and Box will be working in the background. Note, on Windows 8.1, 8, 7, Vista, and Windows Server 2012 and 2008, BoxSync will be running in the background on the isolated session 0 and its tray icon will not be visible on your desktop. If you wish to make changes to BoxSync, you can stop it in Always Up and choose Application, then Start BoxSync in this session to launch BoxSync on your desktop. And now that BoxSync will always be running in the background, there is no need to start it again when you log on. We recommend using the free Auto Runs tool from Microsoft to disable BoxSync's auto start, but any startup manager should do the trick. With Auto Runs, Click over to the Logon tab and uncheck the box beside the Box Sync entry. That's it. Next time your computer boots, Box Sync will be launched immediately without anyone needing to log on. Please restart your PC soon and test that everything works as expected after Windows reboots. We encourage you to edit the entry in Always Up and explore the many other settings that may be appropriate for your environment. For example, send email alerts if BoxSync stops, uses too much memory, and much more. Thank you for watching. 